Okay, maybe we should play a bit with our um, little hacker box thing here. Uh, the uh, the badge, see if we can get some code loaded onto it. Because now that I think about it, um, this uh, ESP32 might just replace the ESP8266 um, that I'm using for the um, digital setting circles. And uh, this, uh, this board here might just uh, be a be a replacement for it. Now why? Why is that not lighting up anymore? It's weird. Okay, so the first sketch we load up is our um, testing the capacitive touch sense butters. <coughs> testing our capacitive touch sense button. So you make sure that you've got an ESP32 dev module selected as your board. Make sure it's connected to the correct serial port. Upload the um, sketch and then on the serial monitor when you're when you're touching the uh, the touchpad here and here, so we've got a fire button and we've got up, down, left, and right, up, down, left, right, and then fire, fire. So yeah, that works. And the buzzer demo seems to be working. Some eight-bit tones using probably the tone library or something like that. I haven't taken a look at the code too closely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Star Wars theme. Very good. Okay, and after installing the NeoPixels library from Adafruit, we get this, um, this... Okay, so the colors are kind of, kind of washed out. Don't know how exactly to get the colors right, but in any event, uh... We've got a NeoPixel library that's running. It's changing color. I uh, can't really see the colors, but um, yeah, going from a red to yeah, it's multi flashy with multi different colors. Anyway, so the uh, NeoPixels are all working. Uh, it's a good thing. Now let's see if we can't get that display to work. And then, um, yeah, then we'll have example code for all the different things we might want to do with the um, ESP32, except for um, loading the uh, library for the um, AS. 48 to um, run the angular uh, position sensors. So after loading up the Adafruit ILI 9341 uh, library, we can compile our example code for the Marty MacGyver um, demo. Okay, so it's loading up now. Let's see what it gets us. It should be uh, just about done. Yeah, you can see the you know, pixels have stopped in their last state. Oh, look at that. Exception in thread. It looks like we got some bugs to debug. Okay, pin assignments. That's what the uh, that's what the issue was. We have to make sure that we've got our pin assignments correct. Um, cable select is 19. Data commands are on 22. Mosey's 23. Mesos 25. TFT clocks 26. And now we have this guy working as expected. So it does a bunch of cool sweepy swoopy graphics as well as testing orientations of the board and um yeah <clears throat> so this badge turns out to be more or less exactly well more or less exactly what i need um i just need um to um extract some of those pins so that i can um, run a second uh, serial uh, sorry a second second um uh, SPI bus, or just run it off the same SPI bus that's running that thing because we we don't need to um, worry too much, and then add a couple of um, push buttons because those those touch uh, capacitive touch buttons they just make no sense. So I'm going to put um, a hardwired button on there as well as probably a rotary encoder to do some UI um, manipulation, and um, yeah, that will be. Uh, that will be that. All right, so that is nice and working.